Thank you for visiting my channel. In this video, you'll be learning a lot more from the field of science and mathematics and technology. And I hope that you are encouraged as you watch this video. Please feel free to share this video with others and subscribe. Hello, this is Amos the STEM guy. Amos the math guy, Amos the STEM guy, he calls STEM excellence by God's grace. In this video, I wanna to talk to you briefly about what's available to families in the homeschool community. We have three levels of programs for curriculum consulting and um, anything that has to do with how do I homeschool, what curriculums you know, should I consider? We love those kinds of topics. We started a program in Moorhead as well as Grand Forks, North Dakota, that was a homeschool hybrid and Grand Forks is still offering courses in the fall, so please sign up. Um, our program in Moorhead has moved over to, um, most of the teachers have moved over to uh, the West Fargo district and it's called Shiloh Christian Academy. I highly recommend that you reach out to Shiloh Christian Academy. They will take very good care of you there with the homeschool hybrid program that they have. I just want to talk briefly about uh, homeschool uh, enrichment, again, from an online perspective. If you have children in the K-5 space, in the 6-7 space or in the 8-12 space. Basically, I take students who are in the K-5 space and provide curriculum advice for English, math, history, and science. You get all the curriculum resource advice and all of that. You can choose to just get that curriculum. But if you want the coaching or guidance in any other, um, you know, to support your homeschooling journey in any other way, reach out to us. We also recommend languages at this stage, whether it's Spanish or French or German or Latin or Greek. Start teaching your kids. Well, maybe not Greek, but the other ones. Start getting them into those languages. Is let them start learning right from a young age. So K5, we have a program for you, uh, curriculum enrichment for all the courses. One of the things I recommend in the K5 space is actually right here. I'm going to just grab one, uh, one book here. This is called um, The Blue Bag Speller, Noah Webster, and then we have the three R's. Uh, we use that as a resource as well. And then I recommend for all parents the seven laws of teaching. So that would help you in the K-5 space to begin to get your child the education they need. There's also a book called Wisdom and Eloquence um, and the Virtuous Minds. This will help parents as they guide their children to have an excellent education. Um, in the 6-7 space, I don't know if you know this, but academically, the 6-7 space of America is very weak. Here's what I mean. Six, seven in America, you can be just playing around, get a D here and there, be okay, and still be going on to eighth grade and so on. In some countries, like in Nigeria, if your seventh grade is weak, they hold you back for the whole year. So if you get a D or an F in English or math, like just forget it. Like you are in trouble. That's the way they look at it. So there's a lot of uh, emphasis placed in, in the seventh grade especially. But in America, I've seen seventh graders who literally don't do their homework, they don't have notebooks, they, they're not organized, and they're just being allowed to keep going at that rate. Not in Nigeria, not in India, not in Singapore, right? And I'm not saying people shouldn't have a life. What I'm saying is, what if we made the most of sixth and seventh grade? What if we got college credit in sixth and seventh grade for English and intermediate algebra and college algebra? That's what I help families do. In your sixth and seventh grade, I give you a bigger vision to, to explore. Don't follow the American curriculum for sixth and seventh grade in terms of the low bar that is, you know, just very low bar. What if you help your child to start thinking about career exploration? That's what we do in sixth and seventh grade in our program so that they can then have their eighth to 12th grade better plan because they have a vision in sixth and seventh grade. So for sixth and seventh grade, we have college credits, English, history, math, and natural science, CLEP preparation if you want. So we have some uh, preparation for college credits in sixth and seventh grade. If you follow our program diligently, you will graduate high school with 60 college credits. So that's why, why we start early. And if you want to go to MIT or Harvard or Princeton or Yale, it's good that we start talking in 6th and 7th grade because that journey doesn't begin when you're in 12th grade already, right? Okay, and then the third level here from 8th to 12th grade, our students are just going to get a lot of college credit, right? Whether it's the dual enrollment option that we have in partnership with universities, uh, with the university, or if it's just the CLEP preparation, you can start getting college credit. Again, we also do career prep for you. We help you think about career prep. And so we have a book here by Sherry Frame called um, uh, uh, Parents' Guide to Credits Before College. Sherry Frame uh, is out of Minnesota. So we have a lot, we have some of that resource. We also have um, other books on logic. Uh, getting your kids to think about logic and the history and philosophy of science, some great biographies. This one is from R.G. Letourneau called Mover of Men and Mountains. So we're here to help to provide you a solid education in the 8th to 12th grade space with logic, critical thinking. Um, I mean, there are books out there that talk about 
call it being a scam, right? I know Charlie Kirk has written a book and there's books like Thomas Sowell will talk about it in some of his books. But what, what do we mean by college as a scam or as a problem? Well, part of it is a lot of students going without any vision or direction. But that's why we do a lot of those discussions in our sixth and seventh grade program. My support is a year round program online. And so you can reach out anytime if you have any questions. How much is the program? Well, for each subject, the cost is about $75 to $100 per month for each subject. And so let's say you want to do math. It's about $75 to $100 a month. We can talk and look at you know what's available at the time. Right now, I have a special at $75 a month, and that will cover your math support for that whole um, year. So reach out if you have any questions. Uh, we provide math, English, history, science, and elective prep in Spanish as well as French. So reach out if you have any questions. Uh, mental wellness and flourishing, personal wellness and health, those are all part of our courses. So email Amos, the STEM guy at gmail.com to see a full list of the courses which I'll email to you. Uh, we're here to support your family, help your children have a vision for life and direction, and uh, let me know if I can be of assistance in any way. So this is Amos, the STEM guy. My hope ultimately is that your children come to know the truth and walk in the truth of God's word. That's what ultimately matters. When it's all said and done, we want the Lord to say, well done, good and faithful servant. So we want to partner with your family to equip your child to know uh, the gifts that they've been blessed with and the one who has blessed them with those gifts. Um, so take care and God bless. Thank you for watching that video. Please feel free to subscribe, like, and share the video with your friends. If you're looking for any homeschool uh, support from kindergarten to 12th grade and want to get 60 college credits before you graduate high school, reach out to Amos the STEM guy at gmail.com. Amos the STEM guy at gmail.com. And I will send you a free copy of my book, Tools for Mastery Mathematics. So I provide the guide for getting 60 credits in a different video, but please subscribe, like, and share. Have a blessed day.